and this is i got hold of some this operative photograph somewhere and this is a classical a transparent balloon dilated with uh, distended with water like so solution looks like a transparent balloon with coursing over like small small vessels that is an epididymal cyst and that is the normal testes thank you sir i would request professor kapkar to give his comments and then i will have my own things to say to dr professor i think in a span of 35 40 minutes he's covered the whole gamut of testicular and extra testicular pathologies it's always an education to listen to him he always has something new to tell you i had never heard of epidermoid cyst of the testicle to be very honest <laughs> is is great just a word of caution to the residents in examination from clinical point of view you get three pathologies i hope dr tosso would excuse me to interfere a hydrocele a varicocele and a variant of hernia i have seen candidates <coughs> losing their wickets on hydrocele dr tusu would recall we had an excellent teacher who unfortunately is no more i don't mind naming him dr k c mithil and i remember 1968 january we were in the opd e gave a case of scrotal swelling to one of the post graduates and after 15 minutes he said okay let's discuss and his physical examination for some reason was not up to the mark and he diagnosed as case of testicular tumor i know the hell he went through because it was nothing but a plain simple tense vaginal hydrocele so please do not underrate the scrotal swelling from practical point of view you if you get a case you are expected to know nearly everything about the pathology the anatomy and the management so please do pay an attention to these cases of hydrocele the pericoceles the variants of hernia like hydrocele and bisac etc thank you dr tosu it was great it was great thank you dr kakar